Hey everyone, I'm Lucy. And I'm Dane. And we're Solutions Architects working at Amazon Web Services. Today we're going to be talking about the skills required to become an effective Solutions Architect and how you can gain those skills to land a job at AWS. Quick pause, this video is brought to you by Simply Learn. Simply Learn offers an AWS Solutions Arctic certification training course to help you learn how to design, plan, and scale AWS implementations. This course is aligned with the latest AWS exam and covers skills such as AWS solution planning and architectural best practices. Every year, the demand for professionals with AWS cloud skills continues to grow, and here you can see some of the roles available in the cloud industry along with their salaries. There are options for self-paced learning and live boot camps, and I would recommend looking into the live boot camps because it gives you a chance to learn from mentors and a community of peers. The course curriculum covers a wide range of AWS concepts taught by experienced instructors, and you get to work on three real-time projects. The next online boot camp starts soon with limited spots available, so make sure you take a look at the reviews and check out the link to the course in the video description below. Now let's get back to the video. So Dane, first of all, what is a solutions architect? Well, that's a big question. I think we could probably spend most of the video just talking through, I guess, what the role is and what the role is about. Uh, but for me, I think a solution architect is about uh, helping a customer at its core. So helping a customer, but from a technical lens, right? So it could be looking up documentation to help them sort of get over a difficult problem. Uh, it could be helping out with some of their solution design, proposing, or maybe even inspiring some solution design on their part, right? Uh, it could even be building out a small proof of concept uh, if there's something that they wanted to, to prove out, if they wanted to understand a bit more about. Um, so yeah, I think it's just it's a lot about just helping a customer and having that extra technical lens uh, around it, just at a, at a general level. So Lucy, what do you think are some of the technical skills required for a solution architect? Yeah, so it all comes down to the solutions architect role that you apply for. You know, if you apply for a more specialized role, then they'll have more specialized technical requirements. But let's just say you're applying to an associate solutions architect role as a general solutions architect. The technical skills that they look for can be broken up into five main domains. So there's networking, compute, databases, storage, and security. And they look for technical breadth across all five of these domains. And if you can show technical depth in at least one of them, that would really help you stand out as a candidate. And cloud knowledge is quite useful as well. It's not a strong prerequisite, but if you have some knowledge of AWS services, that can really help yeah, you in the interview as well. So in this case, you know, we'll talk about this later, but getting AWS certifications will be quite helpful. Getting hands-on with doing cloud projects, it just shows your knowledge and interest for yeah, cloud experience, computing. right? Yeah. yeah. So then we've talked a lot about technical skills now. What do you think are some of the non-technical skills needed to become an SA? Yeah, so as a solution architect, you will spend a lot of time in front of the customer, right? So I think uh, being personable is something that's quite important. Uh, being able to have some of those technical conversations uh, at a high level, which I know sometimes is, is a bit tricky coming from like an engineering or a technical background. Um, so having the ability to I guess, sort of translate to some extent um, what some of those ideas might be and, and be able to present them to a more general audience. And it does depend as well, right? I think there's a, an element of being able to understand your audience and be able to kind of present based on who's in the room. Uh, so often a customer might uh, ask a question a certain way um, and there is maybe a part to just looking on corners like what they actually might mean, right? What, what it, it, you know, the, the core of the problem is that they're trying to solve. So I think having that ability to proactive to upfront investigate uh, and understand what the core of the problem might be. Um, I think that's something that's very helpful. It might be easiest to just spout a lot of you know technical jargon or technical concepts, uh, which is not always as helpful for a customer. So being able to sort of step that back and, and you know, again, translate it to some extent, uh, I think is definitely a valuable skill to have, right? And also the willingness to have those conversations. So Lucy, if someone was interested in gaining some of the skills that we've been talking about, where is a good place to start? Mm, yeah, let's break that down again into technical and non-technical skills. So for the technical skills, as I mentioned, certifications is a big one. It's a great way to start your cloud learning journey. And even though the skills that you gain from the certifications and the knowledge is mostly theoretical because, you know, they're multiple choice exams, it's quite helpful in just getting that foundation of what is the cloud, what are some services AWS offers. And then from there, you can start a cloud project, for example, a 3 tier web application. Just getting some hands-on experience will be really helpful. You know, combining the services that you learned from the certifications into something that you can present in an interview or showcase on your resume. One more way to gain technical skills to become an effective solutions architect 
is having a look at AWS white papers and reference architectures. These usually have been created by solutions architects or members of the technical team here at AWS, and they're a great way for you to learn about AWS best practices when it comes to architecting. So Dane, what about the non-technical skills? Is there any recommendations on how to build them? Yeah, so I think uh, looking for opportunities to be able to you know, get in front of an audience or get in front of you, even if it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario, uh, being able to present something uh, and looking out for those, those opportunities even within your team, I think is definitely valuable for practice. Uh, I think also one that's been helpful for me is uh, looking out for a mentor, right? So looking out for someone who uh, kind of ticks the boxes in, in terms of things that you might strive to achieve. And it might not be completely end-to-end, -end, but maybe the specific skills that uh, you kind of admire in them that you'd like to build in yourself, right? And maybe it is in the presenting space. Um, so yeah, I'd kind of look out for a, for a mentor, connect with them and spend some time with them. There is also an element of just knowing where you can personally improve, right? So looking out for some of the spots that uh, you think maybe you can do a little bit better uh, because that way you can maybe consciously focus some of that effort on, on improving those parts as well. So I think that that's something that's at least helped me in terms of the soft skills side, right? So not just on the technical side. Yeah, that's a really good point. You know, sort of evaluating your strengths and weaknesses and trying to figure out what you need to improve on. All right, so this brings us to the end of this video on what are the skills required to become an effective solutions architect at AWS. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful and leave your questions down in the comments below. Thank you so much, Dane, for coming onto the show today. Yeah, no worries. And thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed learning about the skills required to become a solutions architect, I recommend checking out this video I made where I go through common solutions architect interview questions.